Hello everyone welcome back welcome back to another video of my channel I am Kishal I hope you all are doing well so in this video as you came to know from the thumbnail that I am going to discuss there are three things that you must maintain during your mtech life so that it will be helpful for you in the latter stage of life during your placement or in job career and those three things are uh, curriculum vitae or cv uh, linkedin profile page and uh, your github page and these three things are really helpful uh, during your job placement in on campus or off campus and not only that if you are someone who is interested to go for research and if you want to go for any foreign university for your phd or any research associate position then also these three things will be really helpful and that's why it's very important that you 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 create these things very early of your mtech days and you keep on you know updating these things so that you know during your application like during your job application or phd application you don't need to think about these things those things will be already updated uh, in to into their respective places so that's why in this video i'm going to share that how you can create these things and how you can maintain these things so that you have all of these things ready for you whenever it will needed you can just refer it and you don't need to bother about it so that is the topic of today's video uh, so if you want to know detail about these things please do watch the video till end and if you are new to this particular channel Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. The first and important thing that you must do is to create a CV and maintain it. And now CV is something that will actually showcase your skill set. And in the CV, you have to explain well what are the academic achievements that you have done, what are the skills that you know, and that will be kind of your bio data uh, for any kind of applications that you are putting. And you know, in the in the very beginning of your M Tech, you must create a CV with the basic information that is there. Like suppose from where you have done your undergraduate, what are the projects that you have been part of during your undergraduate? Uh, suppose you have cracked your gate, so in the achievement you can write your gate rank. Then if you have any prior, uh, you know, industry experiences, like if you have worked in some software companies for a few years, then also you can put it into your and you know experience success and this is how you have to create a basic format of your cv in the very beginning of your mtech and then what you have to do is you have to keep on updating it but before getting into that uh, so the first question that comes into every student's mind that how i will create my cv uh, because in in many many undergraduate um, institutions they used to make uh, this cv before their placement and that time mostly students prefer uh, kind of what document format or some format that will be given from the institution and they used to fill it up but uh, for 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 mtech or for higher studies uh, your cv has to be a, a decent uh, has to have some decent looks and it has to be some kind of you know a standard format that you have to maintain and for that that's the reason i would i would recommend you to you know prepare your cv in latex format and for that the best website that is available is overly uh, so if you enter into the over there are a lot of uh, templates that is available there you can choose any of the template and from there you can create your CV. So yeah this is this is how the overleak uh, console looks like so this is overleap.com so if you just search in the google overleap uh, you will be having a link uh, for this particular web page and this is the web page where you can you can create your latex document so latex document is helpful for your uh, you know writing paper and you can use it for writing your cv also so if you go to new projects, so under this resume CV, if you click here, so you will be having a CV of already existing CV of different uh, people. So they have uploaded uh, these different templates of CV and you can have a look on these different templates and then you can choose uh, one of them, whichever will be shooting you. So there are a lot of CV template is there and you can choose any one of them. So this is how you will create your basic template of CV. Now I'll be going into how you'll update it. So whenever you will be you will be doing different things in into your M Tech, you have to keep keep on updating your CV. So suppose in the first semester you have chosen for four courses, then in the course section of your CV you update those four courses. Then you know you update uh, that you are pursuing your M Tech uh, from so and so institution. That also you have to update in your CV and your 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 CGPA, whatever is CGPA that you are getting after each semester. That also you keep on updating. And then suppose you have done some course project. 
uh, as a part of any course you have done some course project then you include that uh, into your cv you you mention about it you give the title of, of that project you write detail about it who was the advisor for that project so everything you write uh, in, in, into the cv and if you keep on editing it so each semester you know periodically you keep on editing it so that you know you have your cv ready at any point of time and whenever your cv will be needed so in in, in mtech your cv will be needed many times so suppose you are applying for some scholarship or if you if you want to apply for some internship uh during an application uh, you know the people will ask you about your cv so if you maintain the cv the way i am i am i am telling you then you know anytime people will ask you that share your cv you you can just download it and send it to them so that's the advantage you know if you if you if you keep on updating your cv if you keep on maintaining this cv in uh, in the overlay so in the overlay there is a there is a concept called project so in the project you you can keep on updating and just download it as a pdf so then your cv will be ready so then it will be really helpful i mean uh, anytime someone will ask you cv you can you can share it and before the placement also you don't need to think much about your uh, whatever the process that you have done because that is already there and you have to just update it a bit and then you you can share it with the recruiter so this is the advantage of maintaining a cv and i'll be giving the link of my cv in the description you can go and check it out so cv shouldn't be much longer uh, it can it, it should be at most two page uh, you you can have it and the shortest cv should be in one page so that's the cv i'll be sharing in, in the description that will be a one page but yeah you can extend it up to two page but not more than that and if you want me to make a separate video on how to how to prepare your cv so please let me know in the comment section i'll make a separate video for that the next important thing that that will be helpful specifically your job career that is creating a linkedin profile so as you all know that linkedin is nowadays a social media platform uh, through which you can connect with all the other other working professionals and you know hr recruiters uh, from different companies and every time you apply for any company being it you know on campus or off campus the hr will ask you uh, you know sharing your uh, linkedin profile link and they will they will go through it so that's why your linkedin profile has to be updated all the time and that is that's why you know whenever you will be you'll be joining your mtech you should create a linkedin profile with all the basic information that is there like uh, from where you have done your my you know bachelors or class 10 12 and then you know if you have or if you have worked in, in, in any company before that or if you've done any kind of internship that also you have to update there and that will be a basic structure and again you have to update it like you you have to update your cv so every time you 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 complete any any kind of courses uh, during your masters you add it in the linkedin uh, and whatever the grade that you're getting that also you can update in the linkedin then you know if you have done any kind of project uh, as a part of your coursework then that also you can update in the linkedin then if you have done any internship or if you have done any certification during your mtech days that also you can update uh, in your in your linkedin profile so uh, this is how you have to keep on updating your linkedin profile as well because anytime hr will hr or any recruiter from any company will come and visit your profile they should have the overall idea about whatever you have achieved so far and this linkedin profile uh, that actually showcase not only your achievements but also your skill set like suppose you know somebody has recommended you in any any programming languages so that shows that you are you are you have a good skill on that uh, particular uh, programming language so all of these things you need to you need to look after uh, so that your linkedin profile is strong enough for any job that you are applying and you know by the time you will be you will be applying for any job in the on campus or even the app compass your linkedin profile has to be very updated the third important thing that you must create is a github account and github account will, will, will be something that will have your all the course uh, that you'll be doing during your uh, mtech career uh, so this is specifically for computer science people because computer science student has to do a lot of coding and each of each of the projects that then they will do uh, they, they, that will involve a you know significant number of coding and whenever you'll be applying for any any software industries or product based companies then come uh, you know people people ask uh, you know ask your github repo account id because they will go and check how you 
you write the codes and you know that's why you know whatever the coding that we are doing in any project and um, write it in a proper way uh, write it with proper indentation proper comments so that you know whenever you will update it in the github repo and whenever the recruiter will come and check they will have a good impression about you and that is something that is also important and you know in the cv whenever you will be up updating about your projects or you know different courses that you have done any assignments that you have done if you write about it into your cv give the link of the github uh, there so that you know people can come and come to github and check your uh, codes uh, and they can go and go through it so that's why for especially for csc people or whoever is working in kind of computational uh, domain uh, who has to write a lot of code so for them uh, this particular uh, thing is very important so that they can create a github page and they can update all the all the codes that they have written uh, into the in the github uh, github repo and uh, you have to make this repo and uh, this this different uh, coding repo public also so that uh, people can visit it and this will be actually beneficial for you because the recruiter uh, once they will go through this uh, different course they will have an idea that how 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 will you do coding and that will be beneficial for you in the recruitment finally one more thing that i would recommend especially for uh, the students uh, who are willing to go for a research life or phd life so you must create a web page for you as well and in the web page you will again have all of these things you have a link for the cv if you will have a link for the in your linkedin profile you will have your link for your uh, github repo and additionally you will have you know google scholar uh, scholar link and you you will have uh, detail about you also so there will be a lot of tabs there like uh, in the about tab you can write about yourself in the experience tab you can write about your experiences in the publications you can write about your different publications so everything you will be you will be given again in the web page and this is this is specifically important uh, important for students who are willing to go for phd or research life after mtech but it is not important for those who are who are, who are aiming for going for a job because for them the first three things that i have told uh, CV, LinkedIn and GitHub repo that will be sufficient. Yeah, that's it about this video. So in this video, I have tried to describe all the all the three things that you must do during your uh, MTech life apart from studying and doing hard work. So you have to maintain all of these things, your CV, your LinkedIn profile, your github page and if you're willing to go for phd you, you must have a web page also and you have to update or keep updating all of these things because you know showing off your skill set is also needed. It's not only doing the hard work, you have to show off your hard work to the recruiter also so that they get to know about your skill set and you know you, you get an edge during your recruitment procedure. So that's why maintaining these things is really, really important and you have to maintain it periodically because if you just think that I'll, I'll, I'll create a CV or LinkedIn page before my placement, so that time you might have missed something uh, because you know it's a, like at the end of third semester, suppose if you are willing to create your CV, then all the three semester you have to keep in mind and you have to update it so that is a hectic process rather than it will it will be good if you if you maintain it daily basis so that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for all of you uh, who have just joined mtech and and i hope you will be you will be maintaining these things uh, after you you listen to this video and share this video to many other people also so that it will be helpful for them and if you like this video please like it and share the video to many other people and if you are new to this particular channel please uh, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye